what it does here, if you look at the output, you output you got this list. And what it does is you give it a list of integers in this case, and it will sort them so that they are in increasing order. And if you pass it decreasing, it does it again. Um, it's basically, it does exactly how the sort method would work in Python, but now we're gonna do it manually with loops and fun stuff. All right, so how does it work? Let's go here, I Googled it for you guys. So there's this wonderful picture here, and here's a list of some unsorted stuff. Hold on, let me refresh it. Oh, I can move it. All right, so here's this um, picture, and as it goes through, it'll check and see if this one, which element's bigger, and if they're out of order, it'll swap them. So if you keep watching, it'll go to this one. These are in the correct order, so it won't swap. These are out of order. So it'll swap. And then basically it keeps going through. So keep watching, it's kind of slow. And it swaps until the list is finally um, in the correct order. So now once it does this last swap here, you'll see the stuff is still out of order. So it's gonna go back to the beginning now and it's gonna do the exact same thing. So based on all the um, looping we've done, you, you can kind of see that this is kind of like an inner thing. Um, like if you had uh, two loops, for example, this would kind of be the inner loop that it's doing right now. And then the outer loop would be repeating the entire process as a whole. Um, and so it's not too complicated. You guys have been using the uh, nested loops on these assignments. So I'm not terribly worried about you guys having trouble with that. The, most uh, the thing that's going to be unintuitive maybe is how you go about the swap and so I'm going to actually show you guys that in the REPL real quick. All right so remove this stupid bar. <laughs> okay so the idea is we've got um, two things we've got x and we've got y right so we'll just say x is one and y is two, just for fun. And the idea is that we want to swap these two. Um, and there are some cool ways you can do that in Python, but uh, I'm going to show you the most basic way. Um, so normally you wouldn't just be able to say x equals y here because then you would lose the value that was in x um, if you did it that way. So what you have to do is you have to set x to a temporary variable, or store x in temporary variable, just x. And then what you would do is after you've stored x in the temporary variable, you can now set x equals to y, and that's not replacing anything. That'll, I wish it would stop doing that. And then you can, and so that's not replacing anything. So now y, so I'm gonna put in comments, all right, so this is gonna store temp as one, and it's gonna store two, which was y and x now. And then we're gonna, instead of saying x equals y, or y equals x here, that would store it as two again. So that's why we have this temporary variable up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually set y equal to temp here, and so now y is equal to that. And so that's just a three line piece of code for how to swap two variables. Um, there are other ways. Uh, you can actually do, I believe you can do it this way. Um, and you can just do it like that. So hold on, let's comment that for a second. So, yep, you can swap them like that. <laughs> which is just fine, but I wanted to show you guys this way using a temporary variable because in other programming languages that aren't as cool as Python, you can't just do this. So basically, if we go back to the project, um, we're gonna receive a list, just to sum this up, we're gonna receive a list, it's gonna be out of order, and we're gonna go through and check two uh, parts of the list at a time, two of the elements at a time, and check if they're in order. If they're not in order, 
we're going to swap them. Then we're going to go to the next two. If those aren't in order, we're going to swap them. So in this case, three is greater than two, and that's out of order. So we'd swap them and keep going through and swapping them one at a time like this. And then have, and, and once again, that won't, in this case, it does fix it all in one loop, but um, most of the time you won't be able to fix it all in just one pass unless it's like just two numbers out of order that are right next to each other. And so we have to run through this multiple times. And so using your knowledge of nested looping, you guys should be able to figure this one out. It's not too difficult based on all the assignments you guys have done, but it's, it's just kind of a cool little algorithm. It's not super efficient, but when you get into like programming, you'll have to do some, you'll have to do sorting. You won't always, um, I mean, you'll, you'll be able to use the Python sort, but, but it's kind of cool to see how it works or one of the ways it works. All right. Anybody have any questions? Yeah, I guess you'd have to figure out like when it's, when it's all sorted, right? I mean, you'd have to have some, some, kind well, Essentially, there you could check to make sure if it is sorted, but essentially after you run um, this through five passes, it's going to uh, be done. So like it, it's only gonna it should only take the length of the amount of loops for the length of this guy to run. Okay, and then it should be sorted by then. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Anybody else have any questions? I'm going to post this uh, project in the group. And um, this one, because you guys are hopefully on top of your assignments, this one will be done individually, but we'll be around to answer questions um, and help you guys out. Um, and so, yeah, we won't need Hangouts. And we'll, we're, we're going to want you to fork this one and then do the pull request just like before. All right. So I'm going to post this link now. And if anybody wants me to go through how to fork it, speak up now because I can do it again for a demo if you guys have forgotten. Um, yeah, you might as well. I, I All right. You can't watch this. <laughs> enough, you know? All right. So if you need to watch, if you need a refresher, watch my screen. Don't try and do this on your own until you watch my screen because I don't want to have to repeat myself too much um all right so if you remember uh Sunday, you have something to say or yeah D don't we have the recording oh, have the for video. that already yeah he santiago has a recording for that uh yeah let me share that first because we might be missing to help other people if that's already recorded Hey, mind if I say something real quick? What? Mind if I say something real quick? Um, somebody Absolutely. mentioned, Go for it. Um, you know, the list being sorted and whatnot. I don't know who that was. Just wanted to mention something um, about bubble sort. Um, if the list is actually sorted already, like it's already in order, um, bubble sort just goes through it um, in, in one pass. It um, doesn't actually do anything. So it's actually a good way to check if the list in the first place. So the one for the forking recording, if you guys want to use it, I'm going to send the link in a second. Okay. Oh, okay. no, 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 it was the cheat sheet. Wait, this is even better. Okay. So I guess if anybody has any questions, or do you, should I go through it or not? <laughs> what do you think? Um, if you if you have a video, I can watch I can watch the video. But um, um, if you don't, then I can probably benefit by going through it again. Yeah. Sante, do we have a video? I don't remember. Is it, uh, is it on your YouTube channel? Yeah, but wait, it's it's maybe too long. Jason, can you create your own hangout so I can reuse the Zoom session for someone else? All right, I can create um, a hangout. And guys, show. Here's a cheat sheet to follow the steps that Jason will be performing. All right, guys, I'll make a hangout if anybody needs it. And post it in, a, in, in, the, in the channel so anyone can like be notified. Maybe right. someone not listening at this session. Can do. All right.